Greetings and welcome to episode 34 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Russia campaign and this my friends I would have to last time where we are at war with Prussia completely out of the blue my friends completely out of the blue Prussia decided to attack us and France as well but because of your excellent comments my friends and excellent suggestions of the reason why they did this I think we can pretty much narrow it down to the po to the point of they wanted military access to my lands and instead of coming to me and asking for it in a diplomatic way they merely declared war to give themselves that access via proxy because they're fighting each other, they're fighting each other to an absolute standstill and they've drawn us into the fight we do not back down my friends, we never ever back down from this fight. As you can see here, Prussia has sent in quite a formidable force here, there's nothing to be sniffed at at all. Four artillery batteries, a, a decent amount of complement tro troops as well, veteran troops, he's obviously been fighting elsewhere along the front. We've got a militia unit here, the 24 pounders are going to prove a problem for us, they really are. They've also got these three batteries of six pounders. Now, they are, looks like they're heading here, they, it looks like they're going to try and besiege Hungary. Now, as you can see, this force here is not of the finest yet, as you c it has been taking or has been fighting quite severely. The rebels, we've been fighting a rebel army here in Hungary. And as you can see here, if we've had to fight about four rebel armies and we haven't had a chance to really bring this army back up to full spec yet. We do luckily have this army here as a reserve and again this is not this is not back up to full to rude health either. So what we are going to do is this. We do have we do have these twenty four pounders making their way into the region as a backup here and also to, to replace these cannons here as you can see they're the old six pounder cannons and a demi cannon not the best to have but what we're going to do is we're going to allow them to move into Hungary here they're probably going to besiege Hungary but what we're going to do then is we're going to build this army back up to full strength and then we're going to attack them if they do so so we're going to attack them from the flank and really strike them hard so we'll have a defensive force in the fort itself and then we'll have also the secondary force here as well coming in to lift the seat my word my friends we're going to batter these to absolute pieces I can assure you but what we are going to do is we're going to decline the attack here let's see what they do they've moved on they've moved past well 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 but we do have the Prussians now moving forward here with great pace but where are they heading exactly if they come around for me we've started to build our own our own heavy first rates here. We're going to try and get peace with Prussia, I think. We're not really ready for this type of war yet because they can definitely outgun us on many a front. As you can see here, they do have a huge amount of troops here. We've got to play this very delicately here because we don't want to be throwing away our troops that we've taken a long time to amass. I know by the map it looks like we've got a huge amount of land and sort of, you know, if you look at the how much land we've got, you'd think, well, you must have a huge army, Mala. We don't, my friends. We don't have the army armies yet that we can really fight on a in on a sort of massive scale. Prussia is a colossus in this campaign, and so is France. We cannot afford to fight both of them. We don't have the armies, despite the amount of land we have. We are still because the infrastructure from the very start of the campaign was really, really poor. It's very, very poor infrastructure, poor roads. We've had to spend all of the, most of the profit we've made over the years. We've had to plow it back into the infrastructure, back into the buildings, back into the towns to br bring, bring them up to a sort of a decent level, as it were. So we're still trying to do that. Look at that. But we've pushed into the Middle East really, really hard here. This has been our main focus is the Middle East. It really has been something we've focused on a lot. We've sent in at least two elite armies into the Middle East. Our finest armies are currently fighting in the Middle East. So, as you can imagine, this war with Prussia, they're again, they're on, they're on strike again. This is about the fourth time we've had a rebel or a strike here, possibly a rebel army soon coming out here. As you can see, my word, we've had some fights here. But look at this, we've got this elite army here that we have. We want to pack this bridgehead here, and it is a bridgehead. We want to pack this bridgehead out with as many troops as we possibly can here. Look at that, 2,000 right there to spend on that. We've got to get our economy up to a decent state here. and We are really starting to feel the pinch here a bit. So what have we lost here? We lost some cannon, they're good. But we do have a 24 pounder, which I do want to put in here. So that 24 pound is going to actually move into this army here. And I believe, there it is. We're starting to 
create or recruit units within the field here. We've got heavy cavalry, which is going to prove an absolute boon for us. But I think we're going to try and get peace with Prussia. We don't really want to start having these massive fights where they're going to bring us, lay us low here, because as you can see, we've managed to get ourselves into a decent position where we can get a huge amount of economic boost from these northern these northern sort of powerhouse regions here, but if we're at war, we're not going to be able to s to really settle in here and do what we need to do. We could actually, yeah, we are besieging Podolia here, and we have hit indeed Minsk and Riga. We've got this Prussian force here blockading us here, as you can see here, but we luckily have built our infrastructure up to be able to cope with that. As you can see, our tax income is actually greater than our army upkeep which is fantastic, but they are moving in on St. Petersburg. I wonder if we can get peace with them after this little skirmish. Let's see if we can, because remember, we're not ready. Sometimes you just have to take a step back to be able to really push forward in the future. So we're going to request peace, give them military access for five turns. Let's see if that does it for them. No, it doesn't. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to take one of these towns. And we shall do right off the bat. Believe me, we will defend this region to the absolute maximum here. What we will do, we will. I think what we will do is we'll put some money into the into the sort of the the rear areas, the areas that aren't going to be touched. Report here, five thousand. For that, there's our fleet. Look at that fleet there, magnificent. Let's have a quick look at how we're doing. And the, as you can see, the Middle East really is. Let's bring that up here. Repair that. The Middle East is looking fantastic. Ankara has been secured. The infrastructure here is not brilliant. We'll have cobble roads there. Let's get the let's get the supplies moving to the front much quicker than they actually are. We shall get this Segalio here. Palatial estates, two and a half thousand. We've got to repair all of these because we have been hit by the Ottomans quite severely here. Oh look at that. The last bastion here of the Ottomans is Baghdad and Cairo. But look at that, the rebels here. If we can take Jerusalem, my word, my friends, we will be in a, a fantastic position here. We have to do this very, very quickly. Is Damascus secured? No. We're not going to put any money into that just yet. How is the army looking here? It's actually looking in not too bad shape. But we're going to have to strike pretty quickly here against these these rebels. What will this do to Damascus? Let's push out of Damascus. Then we hold here for four turns. What we will do here is we will recruit some additional units to hold the fort. Oh look at that. Very secure. Even this army's moved out. <coughs> Can we repair in the field? I think we can, but is there any need? No, we're going to hold what we've got here. We won't invest any money in this army until we fought this battle here. Uh, they will come out of there, and we can then gain Jerusalem as well. What an absolute beautiful position that'll put us in then. Oh, look at that down there. Right, let's get this naval hospital ready, because then we can still then produce the heavy first rates down here as well. As well as here in Pylos. And... And Italia here has also give us a naval hospital. But with our war, hang on, how is this army doing? Why isn't it being replenished? We've got to get these units back up in Istanbul. It really is vital. We need to replace these guns here. 224 pounders are coming into this, and we're going to replace them in the field so that can actually be cancelled. We can reinvest this money in is any other units that need replenishing here. No nope, recruitment has begun a pace there. 887 is all we've got left. What I think we need to do in here. Everyone here is 
starting to replenish. We're almost there. We're almost back up to full health here with all of these gentlemen, which will be great for us. That means we can that army, this elite army. Look at these musk look at these grenadiers, musketeers as well. Absolutely fantastic. So we're going to put the money into these units here that do require it, and they are being replenished. Twenty-six guns. Right, let's take the fight. We should have a fight we can take that'll push the Prussians, hopefully, into reconsidering. We did have to give up this here to the Venetians here, but that is scary. I don't like the way they're building that up there. We're going to have to produce some more troops here from Moscow and send them down this way. What have we got coming in next turn? A 14,080. Can we actually... In the, f in the field here, those. What have they got? Do we have enough cannons to be able to take this off the bat here? Right off, yes, we do four batteries of cannons here. We want them ideally to come out to us here. And what about this here? Three turns. But we've got enough cannons to probably batter that wall down there. They would be supported by this, but we have to break away. We cannot allow this Prussian force here to take St. Petersburg, it would be an absolute disaster for us. We're going to pull out of there. This would hold here, but we, we could attack here. We've got, they got 224 pounds, lots of cavalry. they got cavalry, some militia. We really do need to keep, because the road to Moscow is pretty well open here. We don't have anything in Kiev to hold them down. If we were to take Minsk, it really would give us quite the sizable break. And then we would have this region here pointing inwards towards Vilnius, and particularly into Warsaw here. This Damagdi's sword would be hanging over them then. This place to arms would then be available. Oh, look at that. We've also got Galicia here. By damn, these forces have taken a heck of a walloping here. So they've moved in this force, which will give them a, a huge backup there. But we do have these gentlemen here. Look at that army there, that's a beautiful sight. Bring up one cannon, it really wouldn't bring down that wall at all, would it? But if we were to take these gentlemen on, that would probably bring these out from there. We've got to be very careful what we're doing here. Let's see, I got a feeling the Prussians will probably push into Transylvania here if they got a chance. We're going to we're going to leave them in the forest here. Hopefully, spring a trap, an ambush. Let's bring these gentlemen up to full strength if we can. Not quite yet, but I got Venice will probably soon start rushing. Out. Cut off completely from there. How is our research doing? Vital component here of our continuing success. We've pretty much got everything we can here. Why is this not doing anything? Is there anything we can? No, we've got full ship and naval facilities. Machine rifling is unavailable. We don't have. We haven't built an army staff college. That's going to give us guards. Not much else. But we get guards there, which will be excellent to have on our on our side there but as you can see and their the battle with France has absolutely been huge and they've taken Munich on this side and the Prussians have taken Amsterdam and Cologne on this side it's almost like an imbalance they've almost mirrored themselves they've taken this side the French and the Prussians have taken this side here they've even taken Copenhagen but the Savoy has come to support French here We'll have one more time of peace here with Prussia. Any technology we can give them? Nothing at all. Let's give them military access. 
and a trade agreement. No, they're not up for it. Right, let's end the turn and see what happens. Let's see what they'll do, Great Britain. Great Britain has enough troubles as of its own, it really does. We've got a strong trade partnership with the Mughal Empire. That will prove very, very useful here. Very, very useful indeed. But as you can see, France is starting to push in quite vigorously here into this region. They're pretty much the only nation at the moment that can do anything against the Prussians. They have the weight of numbers, they have the military capacity, they have the production capacity to be able to deal and handle and pretty much stop this blitzkrieg which the Prussians are bringing to Europe. It's like Spain's getting involved here with Britain. Prussia building his forces on the border. That's a huge army there they're sending in. Absolutely monstrous here. Yeah, here we go. This is going to get really, really interesting here. Unless they back away and just build up forces along the front line here and for one massive strike against us. No, wait a minute. They're moving back to Warsaw. Maybe the French have triggered off a little bit of a panic here within the ranks of the Prussian hierarchy. That's a pretty large fleet right there. Where are they heading off to? Jeepers, creepers, great balls of fire. I think we do need to invest in some more ships. Where are you heading? They could be going to the new la new, the new world here. Don't even think about it, Prussia. <sighs> hitting Spain. There it is. There it is. Now they're backing away. Here we go. They've gone to Transylvania. Damn those fiends. Ottomans, what are you going to do? Looks like we have to take some brutal fights here against the Prussians to make them come to the diplomatic table. They're not going to do it otherwise. They will try and continue their two-front war against France and ourselves. We've got peace with France. They were okay with it. We give military access. They were absolutely fine with that. But no, the Prussians aren't interested. Looks like we're going to have to give them a bloody nose. the Venetians there? Whoa, 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 what the blazes is Persia doing there? If you think you're going to break into that section there across the Don, you've got another thing coming. Pirates, damn you. Right, we've got a battle here, we're going to take these rebels out. Oh yes, indeed. Yeah, this army can yeah, this army will do be able to deal with these, especially with the batteries we've got here. And then we'll take Jerusalem, we'll repair it, bring it back up. Then the Middle East is starting to fall under our control here. We can bring this army up. It'll then be guarding between Damascus and Jerusalem. We don't have the resources to have two armies guarding both cities. We're effectively gonna have to run, have this army guarding two and then eventually we'll get another army up in Damascus and that will then be used to guard these two whilst we go for Cairo and ultimately Baghdad. Let's begin this fight my friends. The Battle of Jerusalem. Remember these are rebels. But we will fight anybody, anywhere if it means the expansion, the increased prosperity of Russia. And again our cannons will be crucial here in this fight. The more damage we can do now before they reach our lines, it'll mean that, you know, a less recruitment down the line here for us. We really are being pushed to the limit here with these wars we've got. Ottomans, Prussians, a war with Spain. Um, Venice is looking pretty dicey against us, it really is. And why is Persia moving up there against into, into the Don? I think we have to move some troops down from Moscow to cover that increase our 
a garrison there. Oh, oh look at that. This, this is a beautiful deployment zone. Look at this. Look at these here. If this was in the middle here, that would be fantastic. But I think we'll set ourselves up on this plateau here. Oh, look at the size of this plateau. It's huge. Yeah, I think we'll set ourselves up. We'll set our guns here. There's the fort. They're going to have to come out of there to, to rid us if they want. If they want it, that's what they're going to have to do. Right, let's get our gun set up here. Look, we've got four batteries. One has taken a real hammering here, but it shall be brought back up to full strength. Mark my words. Where's the... that reaches all the walls over there. That's great. Seems we've got a good covering fire here. And we've got a good defensive position. It's on a slope as well, which means we'll be firing down into the rebels. Light foot. Let's bring them back with the general. Then we can finally bring these men. They can give some rest and relaxation, some R and R. We can then bring in the new recruits and solidify our hold on the coast here of the Middle East here, Jerusalem and Syria. I think we'll hold back our cavalry here to run down the rebels. So let's put them out by here on the right flank. Now we've got another 27th horse guard. Household cavalry, look at that fantastic brand new regiment. And they have fought with valor, these gentlemen. Wait a minute, what the blazes am I doing? Troops properly positioned here. 26th is a full army, a full regiment, should I say. Gonna get ourselves properly situated. We might be even able to have a strike force moving out and trying to flank them, which would be very nice. I think we'll put the 96th in here. It has seen action on the front lines. 96th there holding the front. Look at that. A beautiful sight. 110th on the right. The size of these regiments is fantastic. 97th, let's put the 97th here. Yeah, yeah they're pretty green, the 97th, but still. I wouldn't mind to put a strike force out. Look at those. The Novogrodsky, they've taken a real hammering. Gentlemen, please. Go. 111th on the right. I think we'll put a small strike force out into the field. We'll put the gentlemen here on skirmish mode as well. They can move and fire. By damn, somebody's taken a right beating here. They really have taken an absolute beating. Then what we'll do is we'll put them on that there in front. Are they hidden there? Yes, they are. Good. These can move back the second light once they've been engaged. 182 men here. Let's bring them into three lines so they can still be effective. Look at that. Fantastic. I think we will use these but depleted regiments here as a strike force, they will definitely prove this. No, the Novog the Novogrodsky regiment, they're going to stay behind here. They've did too bad, too badly sort of damaged it, where they've taken too many casualties to be effective. Let's move these gentlemen into here, and they're going to prove valuable. Because we'll, what we'll do is we'll put them here. We'll use this as a, a sort of a a, a place where they can hide their presence. So they can move out. They have to move. Actually, they probably have to move out, out and around this. Probably not. The, I wonder if we can use. The, oh, indeed. Look at that. Let's move these behind. So they can be hidden as well. They can. 
What about these here? Will he speed up as well? The 112th. No, let's put the 112th in the front. Look at that. Some regiments here, beautifully hidden, ready to strike, ready to ambush. Okay, my friends, I think we're ready to go here to fight these rebels. Bring them below and bring Jerusalem under Russian control. We've been fighting in the Middle East for a long time. These men need a break, but not before we've achieved ultimate victory here, taken Syria and Jerusalem, and really added two fantastic crowns or jewels to the crown of Russia. Let's do this. They're still there. We're going to wait here. We're going to wait our time. Right there. Okay, on the, on the right flank here, coming in pretty hard on the right. Speed things up a little bit here, my friends. Let's get things rolling here. As the rebels move out, immediately moving out. Pretty aggressive stance by them. They really don't like us being here at all. Palestinian rebels. Look at that, they've got Janice and Musketeers here as well. Steady, lads, steady now. Do they have any artillery support? Deadly horsemen here. They're going to be proved pretty tough. But I think we can begin our movement here to try and outflank them. Double time, gentlemen. Double time. Double time for walking. Russia is in need of your services. Oh, look at that. It's already begun. The battle has been joined. Oh, look at that. Beautiful fighting there. Beautiful shots. As soon as they're in range, Karkashot's going to come in. That's going to absolutely obliterate these regiments. They're walking to their doom. They just don't realise it yet. Look at, this, look at these mountains around here. What a mountainous region. Look at this coming in. Not bad at all. Some pretty good shots there. Now they're within range of carcass. Now they'll feel the full wrath of Russian artillery. We're going to push in pretty hard here along this flank. Musketeers. Oh, some beautiful shots there. Oh, just one kill, but it still stirs them up there. They realize what they're heading into. That is a huge barrage. Are they now? A Look at that, it's on fire here. Yeah, beautiful sights. But the smoke rises from the battlefield, my friends. Victory will be Russia's, believe me. At any cost. Wait a minute. Oh. Wonderful shooting. Wonderful. Artillery marksmanship there. That's what I like to see. Look at that. <laughs> the harassment begins. Move, gentlemen, move. on the hot there. Too overconfident. Oh, what a shot. The 
artillery support has been absolutely perfect. Broken. We've lost good men there. Let's bring the fire down upon them. I don't believe this. Are they defying an order? I've got to lose those men who wish to do that. The sacrifice will not be in vain. Finish these off, if you would please, gentlemen. <clears throat> Show them what happens when you dare to go. Says far. Shattered and shattered. Position yourselves, please, gentlemen. Ready to. Look at that, they've been boxed in here. There is no escape. Not from the might of Russia. Shattered. Hold, oh, gentlemen. Hold oh, your fire. Diversionary attack. Let the guns take care of them. Where are those guns opening up, gentlemen? Thank you. Oh, look at that. Full silent, gentlemen. I want them butchered. my friends what a fight nearly perfection we lost very very few men then for the maximum amount of damage here we've taken Jerusalem here we've taken Palestine come on lads where are we being besieged Excellent. not again Morale. Syria, excellent. Fight of man.
try and move back into this region here. If they want to fight, then we'll oblige. <laughs> How are these trendmen doing here? We've got 14, 15,072. Excellent. Almost back up to full strength. Army Staff College. I really want to get one of these, but we're going to have to be careful what we're doing here. Gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind doing that. Thank you very much. Yes. It's ours. I'm going to bring this up to f strength straight away. And infrastructure, cobbled roads, and immediately bring this army up to where it deserves to be. Actually took very few casualties in that fight. Oh, they fought excellently well there. Excellently well. And we can finally bring these up where they do belong to be. Gonna do that there because otherwise we're gonna have that besieged and let's bring this up as well so we get this port active. What will the Ottomans do now, I wonder? But why are we got what whoa? Well, well, well. Persia have come and taken this from the Venetians. The plot thickens, my friends. My main concern is where have they besieged? I'm sure I saw one of them coming up to besiege one of ours, or was it a, a French? They haven't moved into any of these at all. Bring governor's residence. That will bring this up. These hand mortars are wonderful, but what we do need is some 12 pounders there to replace these guns in here. These are not fit for purpose anymore, so with that in mind, we aren't going to build, r repair any of those. 299, should cost too much to get these back up here. The Butreski regiment is looking good here. Grenadiers. How many we shot in here? Three. I think we could do probably with another cannon in here to be honest with you. I'm going to put these gentlemen into here. Yes, look at that, fully replenished. That can be replenished. That also. I think it's pretty hard along the line here. We've got these gentlemen here though, ready to to counter these. We've got to get that distance between these two armies. I'm not going to be taking on these two armies. Oh god, Benny, they've got a lot of lifeguards in there. A huge amount of lifeguards. We do have this lockdown here, this town, Podolia's lockdown. But they're moving through here. And there's not a lot to stop them. That is my main concern. This army has taken quite a beating here. Let's bring them up to full strength here. That's our grip. These guns are almost ready, these 12 pounders. We need to do a vest as well. How are these doing down here? Anything else that needs replenishing down here? Nope. My word, look at that. Alexander Mench Menchikov is a fabulous commander. And what about this army here? Is this. No, it's not. We've got to bring this up just in case we get a war on this front. You never know. The chances are we will do. And actually, 
How many guns have we got here? We've got two guns I need replenishing, or replacing, should I say. And the army does need to be brought up here. It was involved in a brutal fight. Luckily that we didn't take many casualties. Excellent. And here, this army as well took didn't take me too many casualties either. Fantastic. We really have done not not too bad at all thus far, my friends. But we've got to keep ever vigilant here. Let's see if we can get let's see if we can get peace with Prussia now. Would they be interested in peace? Very friendly with Spain and Sweden and Mughal and France. Friendly with Britain. But let's see if we can get peace with Pr Russia now. We'll, we'll, act, we'll give them military access for 10 turns. <laughs> what about peace and ability access for 20 turns? No, not interested at all. Abs that's fine. That is absolutely fine. But they're going to have to come out of these. These will come. These can move down to here or down to here. By then, I can always detach this force here if necessary to intercept. But they'll have to come out of here eventually. Two turns. Two turns here, and we're moving back in to take. Hopefully, take Riga. That will then open up uh, pretty much the whole back area here, the rear of the Prussian Empire is then exposed to this army here. Vilnius in particular is exposed we can take Riga. Mind you they've got a huge amount of cannon there. Cannon seems to be the real forte here of the Prussians but it looks like France is really starting to get its strength together but they're not getting any more help from me at all. That is over. No more help at all from us. Oh my gosh, look at that. They've absolutely hit us for six there in these regions. Because of what they did, they declared war on us for no reason whatsoever. Who needs replenishing here then? Ah, there, musketeers. It's okay, they should be replenished. Then we should be we should be ready for them, but why at least just standing here? Right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what this brings. Now that we secured Jerusalem, that's going to give us a nice foothold here in the Middle East. And we've secured our foothold in the Middle East. Cairo and Baghdad are definitely on our... Ooh. But it looks like Bavarians have risen back up to try and retake their homeland. Gone. France quickly crushed that rebellion. Spain, I'm very friendly with Spain. We need that. We need the income from them. Prussia, what are you going to do, Prussia? Ah, looks like they're reinforcing Riga again. They realise what's coming. They're building up quite the formidable assault force here along this front line. Or will they be moving in the way direction of France? Oh, they're taking out the pirates. Ooh, and Spain as well. By damn. Looks like they're moving back out of that way now. Probably because they might have spotted that force in the forest there. Moving through the forest. Ho, 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 ho. This is the fight we wanted, my friends. This is the fight we wanted. We want to take Minsk. This might spur the Prussians into taking peace, but we're going to absolutely blitzkrieg this force here. Mind you, not to be sniffed at at all. They do have the 24-pounders. They do have the cavalry here. We do have two heavy cavalry cells. Three heavy cavalry cells. We're going to absolutely maul this Prussian force here of Gunther Schmidt. But they face Roman back back of back of Valova. 
Three Star General, but soon to be increased, and hopefully these gentlemen will also be gaining their spurs upon the battlefield here of Minsk and Belarus. Let's do this. We will have a fantastic region close then to possibly linking up with the gap with the army here that's attacking Riga. But let's take this fight, my friends, into Belarus, into Minsk. This is why we are taking... We don't, if we'd have backed down from the Prussians, they would have steamrolled into Moscow, they'd have taken Kiev, but we didn't. We, st we took the fight to them, and it's held them back here, and it's given us a good chance here to give them a bloody nose and say to them, if you don't come to the, to the peace table, we will continue battering away. And remember, they are in an, a gargantuan war with France as well. They're fighting on two fronts as well against a very very powerful French and also a Russian force that is not going to back down at all look at the ruins there being smashed up in previous fighting let's have a look at the lay of the land here this is, this is a good spot here slightly off center and also we've got the forest in front of us here to be able to hide regiments in got the wall running sort of parallel here but the cavalry will be important here because they've got their own cavalry which they're probably going to try and bring into the fight quite early on All right let's get our artillery set up here which is going to be the mainstay here I think we'll have our artillery here upon the brow of this hill here Remember? They did. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. Actually, no, that's not. That's a pretty. That's a pretty large no man's land here. So actually, they're set up within the town. That is Minsk itself, right there. So we are fighting right into Minsk. Unless that. No, that's Minsk there. General. Actually, let's put our general thus on Overwatch. Now, let's clear our lines, set up our positions properly for a solid defensive battle. We are not going to allow the Prussians to ride roughshod over us. Not a chance. If you do that, if you even blink in front of a bully, then they will take advantage of that. Let's have the 79th the heart of our defence here. We have a trench. Third. On the right, 99th, be on the left. Dig in, gentlemen, dig in. Is that too close? Too close. So, 98th on the right. Could even send out a strike force here to maul them. I think we'll have these three regiments: 90th, 900th, and 92nd will be used as a attacking force. We will put our cavalry. We will put our cavalry. Two regiments of cavalry here. One regiment of cavalry here, gentlemen. Please, thank you. 80th. Remember. Never complacent. If you're too complacent, they will absolutely maul you. I think we'll have the 85th to cut off the entire of this line here. And if you would, please, gentlemen, trenches. We shall have the 91st on this flank to deploy here once the deployment ends. And with the demarcation line back here, so I can pull this out. We can have two reserves, 89th here, and 94th in reserve here, and a strike force. We have to be careful because we got a 24 pounder, that will absolutely butcher us. So if I think it might be wise for us to come in the strike force possibly hidden here. Ninety-fourth. 
ninetieth, ninety second, and hundredth. Okay, my friends, I think we can begin this battle now. The Battle of Minsk. Let's do this. They deployed quite quite near us here. Let's move, gentlemen. Where's the art? There's the artillery. Steady, lads. I'm going to move these back slightly here so they don't get hit by a friendly fire. Taking casualties here. Steady, gentlemen, steady. That's more like it. Let's follow it in. artillery. What the places? What the hell happened there? We're going to flank this artillery. We're going to come right in behind this artillery. Horse guards here. Close the door on these. <laughs> oh my word, look at that, what a shot. Let's break this line of infantry. Let's use the village. Oh, look at this. Fire lads when ready. Hold the line. Please, gentlemen. Oh, we have the court, the gad court. Get in square formation. Square that, what the blazes is this an absolute mess. We 
reloading decisively. How? Oh, this is an absolute butcher's yard. Broken. Looks like we've got a regiment of whores moving up here. So in that case... <laughs> Moving lads. Move forward, push forward, push forward. <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot. Close the door, please, gentlemen. Close the door. The Prussians want to fight. By God, we'll give them a fight. Targets in range. <laughs> follow up, gentlemen, follow up, move. Just stand there, gentlemen. Move! Let's push in. We haven't got time here, gentlemen, to be messing about. Move in. Let's pull these off the line here. And we're going to push in hard. It's more like it. So the garrison militia have come back. That suits us just right. <laughs> oh, the line! Pushing against them, lads. Pushing against them. Bring them down. They're losing slightly. Right, let's push it now and close off this line entirely. Push in, gentlemen. Why are they not shattered? Move. <laughs> That's more like it. Ah, the, the trap is set. for the sun. Sh 
shattered. Why are they not shattered? Don't you hit our own men. You. Yes! A few casualties, friendly casualties, but we did. F we, that was an excellent fight, my friends. Minsk is ripe for the taking. Oh, we lost 424 men. We killed nearly two and a half thousand men. Will Minsk fall to us? Maybe then they will listen to diplomatic over. Oh, look at that! I think we can take this, my friends. We might lose. Actually, we might lose quite a lot of few men here. But this is the fight that we will take next episode, my friends. You can see here, this is not in our favour at all because of the, the walls they've got. And that is what gives them that advantage, the almost impractical advantage. So we're going to take this fight next episode, my friends, immediately. We will then have Minsk and Galatian Podolia under our control. Maybe then that will bring the Prussians to the negotiation table. And maybe then we can rebuild our armies and focus on the Middle East and also reinforcing here. Hope you've enjoyed this, my friends. If you have, please comment, like, subscribe. Please keep your comments coming down below. They've been absolutely fantastic. Hope you're having a good weekend, my friends. Be safe whatever you're doing, and until next time my friends, bye for now.